Hello my fellow Capricorns, this is your deep dive reading for March to see what's up, what's going on, what is it like in love. If you do not know what I can do, if you are new to my channel, I am clairvoyant, I am clairaudient, I read tarot clearly, I am an empath, I am a healer, I can detect when there's any witchcraft or any manipulation that is being enacted in your scenario or in any scenario in general. But before we get started, um, if you do want a private reading, I do private readings. Uh, if you want to ask more questions about it, you could uh, contact me in my Snapchat and my Instagram that is in the description below. And let's get started. Capricorn. What's going on? Let me just get my incense. What's going on? Okay, so in love, I feel like, wow, I mean, yeah, I'm here, you guys don't have a lot of faith in love, you guys are really studious people, you love, you do your work, you love learning and this and that, very responsible, self-controlled, you guys are very disciplined, but in love, it's like, that's not your field, you feel like love is like a cold, distant, area in life I'm hearing craftsmanship you love your family you're very traditional people and you guys can be know-it-alls too like you guys really you guys are very studious you know it all but it's, I don't know I, I'm like I'm hearing like you expect the worst I, I don't know if it's in love or like in general like you that's like I think that's like a weakness that like you guys expect the worst in a, like a, almost in any scenario, and it, you're very like it can be very unforgiving too. I'm not sure. Let me see. What's going on, Capricorn? What's going on, my Capricorns? Okay, so yeah, it's something about love. If you're with somebody. It's kind of being cold. Oh my gosh. Look at the first card that came out. Yeah, you feel like... You are so dedicated... I'm hearing so dedicated into your work. And you don't want to get involved in anything. Because you feel like it's going to like eventually fall down. It's going to become cold, distant. It's going to make you feel stiff. It's going to make you feel stiff. And you don't want to be looking back at this in the past. Because it's going to mess you up in your studies. You guys are very grounded people. You don't like it when people mess with you because that really makes you feel guilty. It makes you feel like, damn, what did I do? Like, why is this? Why does this happen to me? What did I do? Like, what did I do to make it like come to this? That's why you guys don't exactly. You guys don't want to make a decision. You guys don't want to focus on love. Oh my gosh. Let me see. What's going on, my Capricorns? Yeah. Yeah, you guys feel like if you get yourself involved, it's going to like eventually cripple you and you're going to like ask other people for help. But you guys love being independent. You guys got the, um, let me see, one, two, three, four, five. You guys got the five, oh, five uh, <laughs> sorry, five of pentacles. Um, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy coming through. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy coming through. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy coming through. Yeah. I'm hearing you guys don't like juggling. It's hard for you to cope. It's very hard for you to cope when something bad like this happens. Like it really messes you up. And you feel like I'm hearing this as like your biggest desire that when you find somebody, when you find somebody and when they bring their walls down and and when their heart melts for you, it is like, wow. Like I'm hearing that's like a turn on. And it's like, it makes you, I feel like some of you are like very pessimistic. It's like, your dislike is like <laughs> almost everything at some point. Like, I hate this. I hate that. Like, damn, damn. <laughs> like, I hate this stuff. I hate her. I hate him. I just hate everything in general. I just hate everything in general. Yeah. Oh my gosh. All right, let's see. What's going on? Capricorn. Perfect three cards. What is going on? Wow. Yeah. You Pisces energy coming through. You 
Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy coming through. You could, guys could be dealing with somebody who is a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy dominant, sun, moon, rising, or they got, they have all that in their house placements or even a Pisces energy, but this is like a fear of you. There's a fear. There is a fear in love. You guys are scared to love, but it's a phase. I'm hearing it's a phase. Like this will, this, this has to stop. This has to stop. Like, I know you guys are very dedicated. Let me get more cards to clarify the moon. I know you guys are very dedicated in your work, but you guys need love in order to, like, go through life. Yeah. Yeah. You, you, you can't be feeling this kind of energy. This is like you turning your back on love or just any emotional connections to people because... You are very studious. You are very, like, you just like to take care of your stuff. But you need love in order to, you know, go through life living good. Yeah, wow. Taurus, for Cap a lot of Capricorn energy coming through. It's like, it's all about you. You, you, you. You guys love to focus on you. Like, you like to, you like to protect your stuff. You like to feel grounded. You, you love it. You don't like people coming in and then crippling you and it will lead you to all these disadvantages. You love taking care of yourself. You love fertilizing what you do. You love making decisions and finances. You love being the king of your own world. Yeah, you you are just you are very studious, dominant, studious, dominant, and you just like to take care of yourself and your finances, okay? Now let's see, let's get What's going on in March? Where are the events coming in through March? Where are the events coming in in March? Okay. So there will be a public recognition, you know, like a passion. You will be recognized by the public. Yeah, look, now right next to it is the world card. This is a cycle that has to be uh, taking, that has to uh, come into an AF. Yeah. That has to come to an end because, yeah, look, mm -hmm. right now, you're just looking out into the distance. Like, you're focusing on work, but, like, deep down, you're focusing on, like, damn, it's like, who will come for me? I want somebody, I want somebody to be by my side when I'm recognized by the world. Yeah, that's what I'm hearing. But, yeah. Mm -hmm. Let me see. Was this car reversed or reversed? Yeah, reversed. Mm -hmm. You, uh, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy coming through. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy coming through. Well, with this card, you're too focused in your inspiration. You need love to like live your life. But what will be coming? You'll be recognized. You, if you follow this world change, this this is a cycle that has to be taken accordingly. That has to be started, and you will know how to learn your sword. And look, this page of cut, this page of swords. I'm sorry, this page of swords is looking towards the world. So the the world card is running through your through your life. Yeah, this is like divinely guided. You will know eventually learn how to swing that sword. How to really make decisions, how to like clear your mind on a topic that has been toxic, that has been tainted. I'm hearing, there's a song coming through. I don't know what it is though. I don't know. I'm trying to hear a song, but I don't know what it's called. It's like, um, if I, Um, I'm off the deep end. Watch as I tell me something. It's I don't know. Somebody yeah, Capricorn likes a uh, uh, viewer out there. You guys might like uh, "Shallow," <laughs> but I think it's by Lady Gaga and uh, Bradley Cooper. I don't know why that came through, but you it, this will you will clear an idea that you have been keeping for so long. 
it'll bring an it'll bring an idea or like a way of thinking of something that you've been thinking for so long. You guys are young, or you guys have been thinking about it at your very young age. It'll, like it'll bring clearance on that. It'll bring resolution. Okay. Yeah. I, oh man, that's tough. All right. Uh, let's see. What would the events be playing? That. Oh. Okay. Yeah. So like the, with the world card, this is being guided. This is a manifestation that you have to... Oh, actually, ethos. This is something in the contract. This is something that has to happen at a certain point in, point in your life. And I feel like this has been going on for so long because you... Okay, there has been hurt in the past. I'm hearing hurt in the past. I mean, everyone has been hurt in the past, but like for you guys, you guys have been... I'm hearing some of you have been cheated on. Someone left you. I don't know. Yeah. Passion is in the contract. And whether you like it or not, whether you're trying to ignore it or like trying to like not think about it too much, it's in the pad. It's in the it's in the it's in the cards. It's in the contract. It's in the soul contract. Cleansing. You are this your um idea in love is gonna clear if you follow it. Yeah. Initiation. Things are good. this is gonna start. This yeah, a healing. This is gonna you're the topic of love that you have, the kind of like the the perspective of it, it's gonna be, it's gonna heal. It's gonna heal. Have any more? Bottom of the deck, secret rebirth. Oh wow. Any more? No, no more. Okay. Yep. This is all about incubation. All this is about like really just re like. Just being still and really like in your mind, like incubation, like you're really, you're about incubation, reborn. You're, you're, this is like, this is like a secret that you didn't know. Or there's somebody coming in with a secret that's going to tell you something, I don't know. But right now, you really need to focus on yourself. You really need to focus on yourself, okay? Incubation and rebirth. I'm trying to fix my hair, hold on. Yeah, so that's going to happen. You really need to focus on that. Let's see. What events are coming in for March? Yeah, nothing will come out of the situation if you continue. I'm hearing if you continue be being the way you still are. That's what I'm hearing. Take time to breathe out. Incubation. Incubation and rebirth. You really need to clear your idea or your perspective of love or just in life in general. It's good that you guys are really independent, really studious in your works, but you don't want to be alone for the rest of your life. I know that for a fact. You don't want to be alone for the rest of your life, but you don't want to put yourself in this situation where like you don't want the past to repeat itself again. Nothing is yet set in stone. You see, this, th this I don't know, this way of thinking is not going to put anything in stone. It's not going to put anything in stone. So you really need to breathe out and just think about it again. Let me see. Any more? Bottom of the deck. Oh my gosh. Wow. Any more? Any more? Yeah. Any more? No. You guys got... If you follow what I just said, what I just told you, a romantic cycle is going to come. I know you, I know that's scary. I know you don't like it. But you do need love. And let me and I could tell the person that's coming in very loyal. I'm hearing loyal loving love you for who you are and they'll be by your side. They're going to be by your side. I'm telling you. A romantic cycle is coming. Confidence is the key to success. You guys are very confident in your work, but in love, you guys are scared. There's a lot of fear. So be confident with that romantic cycle. And a win on win outcast is like a win on win outcome is in forecast. You guys will win. You guys will get it. You guys are very close to achieving your goal. This could be on finances or just in love in general if you work. If you just work for it. Answers are oh shoot, wow. This one really the answers you need are coming. Like I said, there'll be clearance. There'll be a resolution to stuff, okay? 
And then the last message for this deck, don't let the past hold you back. Like I said, there was something in the past that's make, that made you think this way. No. That's not how it's supposed to be. Surrender, yep, surrender to non-action. You guys aren't taking action. You guys are not even focusing on this. Now is the time to be still and not act. Simply breathe, focus on your own power. Let others come to you. Yeah, so meaning, take how this resonates into your life. Everyone's life is different. Capricorns, however your life is, take how this card, What take what this card means to you. Like, take a good look at it. And what does this, like, say to you? Whatever the first message you have, that is the answer to it, okay? I'm telling you, surrender your fear of intimacy. Yeah, you guys are so scared to be intimate. You are ready to let love in, compassionately identify and begin to release any patterns that stop you from opening your heart. There's a lot of walls. I'm, tell I'm telling you, there's a lot of walls. Any more? Three more. Three more messages for Capricorn. Three more messages. <clears throat> What's going on? One. Two. Three. Surrender procrastination. This is very ironic. You guys are very well in your study, but you guys aren't really doing anything in love. Yeah, surrender to low self-esteem. There is a fear of intimacy. There is a lack of, a lack of confidence. Self-confidence more likely, but really let that go. Surrender fear. You guys are scared. I feel it. You guys are so scared in the inside. There's like so much fear. It's like... You have a lot of fearful stories. You are telling yourself, stay in the moment, focus on solutions, and celebrate every baby step forward to it. Nobody said that finding love was going to be that easy. And just like, okay, <laughs> I just heard a joke. Just like you think your stuff, you take your stuff easily. You get things done right away. You guys are very studious. You're clear-minded, this and that. But they didn't say that love was going to be just as easy as your studies, okay? Love is a different whole aspect. It's a different whole field, okay? Let me see. Anything at the bottom of the deck? No. Yeah. Oh, yeah, actually. Yeah, let me see. No. Okay. Yeah, there's nothing. Yeah. Well, this is your part one, Capricorns, of the deep dive reading. Go to part two to see what, uh, what it'll be like in love. So head over to part two, and I'll see you there, okay? All right, bye.